Hello Sim Racers, and welcome to Rearview Racing. So today, while looking through the pages of Race Department, I noticed two newly updated Assetto Corsa tracks. The Oschersleven Motorsport Arena and the Lausitzring, both of which are located in Germany. So let's check them out. So this is the Oschersleven Motorsport Arena. Obviously, the main standout event for this track is the first corner. Uh, you only have to go on YouTube to see uh, a couple of videos or in typing in first lap accidents at Oschersleben to see an old array of different accidents being caused by that really tight 90 degree left hand corner at the start. So tight. DTM, when they used to race here, really struggled to get around that corner without any sort of contact. I don't think there was any race where there wasn't some sort of spinner or some sort of contact through that first corner. You can draw your own conclusions whether you think that corner is appropriate, but um, I think it's quite interesting. It adds another layer of um, complexity to the circuit. A couple of other interesting parts. Obviously, there's a triple left-hander, which leads into a right-hand chicane, which is a right-hand hairpin, which is a really difficult part of the circuit to get right, especially if you're racing against other cars. There's a quick right-left-right chicane as well just after. with only one line through it, which leads onto the back straight, so you've got to make sure you get that right, otherwise you'll be too de slow down the back straight to potentially be passed by another driver. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting track. I believe it was in... I think I remember it being in Toka Race Driver 3. That's how far I'm going to have to go back to remember a, a game. I think it's in Project Cars as well. But that's the first game I remember racing it on and it hasn't changed too much recently. A couple of um, safety features have been added. I think they've changed the pit lane ever so slightly to incorporate sort of modern events. But yeah, another really good track for Assetto Corsa and uh, it's free as well so you might as well have a little try out and uh, download it off Race Department. So this is the Lausitz Ring, again, in Germany. Uh, there are three circuits within this complex. There's a tri-oval, there's a DTM slightly shorter circuit, and then there's the full circuit, which incorporates pretty much all of those three. Um, very bumpy first sector, and you can see from the video, I believe it is this bumpy in real life as well. If I had a little look at some uh, YouTube videos of DTM races, just to get an eye to see what it looked like in real life compared to the game. And the cars really did bounce around this first section course going back onto the tri-oval insanely fast this tri-oval is as well there's a little bit of banking but it reminds me a little bit of Indianapolis in terms of that level of, of banking around the corners they used to race champ car around here they used to obviously used to be uh, WTCC there is still DTM however this track has fallen out of favor with uh, some racing series recently a few racing series have left the circuit out of their calendars uh, and it's been bought recently by a company who seem to be only promoting it as a test venue as such rather than a racing venue. Of course, uh, this racetrack was the scene of Alex Zanardi's horrific accident uh, where he lost both of his legs, uh, but he has obviously bounced back and is still racing at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a real incredible recovery story from Alex, um, but this is the place where he did unfortunately lose both his legs. Um, I think that was in the Champ Car race. Um, but yeah, the track itself, uh, it's pretty flat, there's not much to it, it's, most of the corners are pretty standard, um, but it is a decent enough racetrack to, um, the AI do do a really good sort of job of giving you a proper race around here, and it's good obviously with DTM cars and with Formula cars such as the one I'm using here. So a really good addition to the game, any track is a good addition to Assetto Corsa if it's been made and updated to a high standard, which this one has, so it's well worth checking out and downloading for free on the race department's uh, website. Thank you very much for watching the video and your continued support. I've just recently hit 100 subscribers, so thank you very much for supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't already, check out my back catalog and subscribe if you wanna see more from the channel. Thank you very much for watching Rearview Racing and I hope to see you next time.